drawing that I've placed on a layer, pencil drawing here. Uh, that's going to use as the basis for um, the lesson for today. And on the layer above is where I'm going to draw uh, the perspective lines here. So I've labeled that perspective. So let's get rid of these, this layer window. Now this I've drawn freehand. Now I'm going to reduce the size so I can see past the artboard because my vanishing points are going to be outside of the artboard. And you may want to view this at a larger size because there are going to be a lot of small things uh, that you will need to see in addition to the whole screen because you need to see everything that's going on. So right now I'm just using a straight line to, to line up a few of the lines that I've drawn but freehand that I know um, I want to match. Now the freehand drawing I know is pretty correct uh, perspective wise because I've done perspective long enough I have a pretty good sense of how, uh, how it works. So I can do a quick freehand drawing and have a pretty good sense that I'm not that far wrong. So as I make these adjustments to the lines uh, to fit um, what I think will work and get the viewpoint okay. You know, all I'm doing is fine tuning uh, what I've already done. Okay, and the grid helps me kind of see like where my potential horizon line is going to be. Um, so that's one reason why I have that. And now let me just do this top vanishing point. And that's a little bit easier because I only have one point up there. I don't have to match that to a horizon line because it's above the horizon line. So I have a little bit more freedom there. But now I want to make sure that my left and right lines are on a horizon line. So let me zoom in here. And I'm going to uh, just clean up this point. So let's get right on the grid. Bring down. Uh, a guideline and I'm going to make sure this guideline which is now my horizon line uh, matches so that's pretty close I mean if I wasn't able to zoom in I wouldn't even have known I mean this is just being very precise very anal um, but hey that's the way I am so uh, let me pull uh, this right guide over should have done that while I was here now let's go up to the top vanishing point and pull down a guy for that. And let's um, get the left guide. It's kind of hard to draw and talk this out because I'm thinking of it. I'm not used to thinking out loud about what I'm doing. So if I'm pausing, that's the reason why I have to get used to this dual duty Okay, now, this looks pretty good. So now I'm going to move these lines outside of the artboard. And this will become very clear quite soon uh, why I'm doing this. Uh, because I'm, I'm going to show you uh, that I can make very precise uh, perspective lines that don't move from the vanishing point. Uh, with the technique I'm about to show you. Okay, so everything looks good. Everything's set. So now I want to select one of the lines. Select the left perspective line. I'll select the rotate tool. And then drag the rotate icon down to the vanishing point. And this is where the guideline helps because I can put that cross here right where I want it. Now I'm going to select the option key and pull down and this will make a copy and it's important to keep everything selected don't deselect throughout this whole process and now I'm going to do command D and make uh, multiple copies that rotate around the vanishing point so this is all perfect I mean usually you have to buy guides to get anything that's perfect so um, now I'm going to repeat this process select uh, the, the right vanishing point line. Select the rotate tool. Whoops. Let me lock all these lines over here so I don't move those by mistake. 
Okay, now let's start again. Select the line, select the rotate tool, and pull that rotate symbol down to the vanishing point. So now this becomes the point around which the line will rotate. Select the option key, and this will immediately make a copy. And again, keep everything selected. Don't deselect anything throughout this whole process. And then Command D to keep going. So it's it's the Option key on the Mac. It's the Alt key on a PC, and it's the Command key on the Mac, and it is the Control key on the PC. So I have a Mac, so I'm going to be using the option uh, the names for uh, the Mac, which is Option and Command. Okay, so now let's set. Let's go up to the top finishing point. You select that. I actually should move that down a little bit. So I have a little bit of space so I can make sure I'm where I need to be. And also that's where I'm going to be pulling my uh, rotating symbol. So here we are. And again, option to make a copy. Pull that a little bit to the left. And Command D to duplicate. Why do dog walkers think because the dog is friendly that they want your dog, their dog to jump all over you. I mean, I like dogs, but if I'm walking down the street, it doesn't mean I want every dog to be jumping all over me. So these dog walkers should be a little bit more respectful of people's personal space and control their dog when they're walking them out on the street. So that's my little rant for today. Now let's get back uh, to the tutorial here. Okay, so this is all done. I have a nice grid with three points perspective that I can use to base my drawing on. As you can see, and this gets a little bit confusing. So one of the advantages we have with the computer is that we can color everything. So I can color the top and the right so that I can see the lines better. So that when I zoom this down, I can know which is a top or a right or a left perspective line as I start the drawing. So it's not so confusing. I mean, if you want, I have these on one layer, but also if you just want to deal with one um, at a time, you can put those on separate layers. And here's the drawing, the uh, first stage of the drawing, just done it in Illustrator. So thank you for watching. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, just create.